if you were the white partner, you need to be an ally because you're not just dating this person because they're beautiful. You're now associating with somebody who doesn't live in that same privilege. I found an interesting leftist take on interracial relationships. And as somebody who is in an interracial relationship myself, I figure, why not react to it? Let's talk about it. Yeah, the problem with the Guys, before we get into this leftist hot take, please like and subscribe. I want as many people to find this channel as possible so you know what to do. A little bit of background. I, myself, Amala Epinobi, am in an interracial relationship with a white man. <gasps> No! The horror. You know, it must be because of my internalized racism that I've sought out a white man to date, but we'll talk about that another day. Let's get into this leftist hot take about acknowledging race and being a white ally when you are in a relationship with a person of color. I don't think it's a coincidence that you see a lot of black, black dad, white mom. Um, and I honestly like haven't unpacked it fully within myself and like my family, but. I wish she would go on to explain why she doesn't think that's a coincidence. What do you mean? I see a lot of black women, white males. I see a lot of Asian women, white males. I see a lot of mixing of all different races and not just white pairings with other races. I mean, Hispanic people with Asians, Hispanic people with black people, it doesn't matter. I mean, we live in an age now where I think race is not really a big factor in relationships anymore, uh, which is why you see so much mixing, so many biracial children running around, so many little me's <laughs> around the world. I think that like for anybody who's in an inter interracial relationship, whichever way it goes, I think it's important to realize that like if you were the white partner in that. You hear what she's saying. So so anybody who's in an interracial relationship, it's important to realize that if you are the white partner, meaning she only views interracial relationships to be like white mixed with what? It's never like Asian, black, Hispanic, black, anything like that. It's always what is the white person dating, which is a really interesting interesting maybe a Freudian slip there you need to be an ally because mm. you're not just dating this person because they're beautiful obviously you are you you're attracted to them in some way but like you have to understand that with that and whether this is like a black person or any other person of color like you have to understand with that comes maybe some baggage that, that person's not even aware of Ooh, reaching. I was wondering how she was going to address that. First, she reduces down interracial relationships to just white mixed with X, Y, and Z. Then she says, you know, you're not only dating the person because they're beautiful. Damn it, you are handsome. <laughs> She's not mentioning anything about your, you know, internal characteristics, your personality, your morals, your values. It's my integrity and my character. But maybe, you know, that's just how it ended up boiling down. I won't falter too much for that. But I was wondering how she was going to address a white person who's dating somebody who who is a person of color who does not acknowledge this idea of oppression or systemic racism or white privilege. And she goes, well, you might be dating somebody who is just simply not aware of it, meaning they've somehow turned a blind eye to the oppression that they are experiencing in this country. Now, I wonder what she would think the dynamic should be if you are dating a person, say like myself, who does not believe in this narrative of black oppression in America, of you know people of color being constantly oppressed by our systems and institutions. Is it then the job and the responsibility of the white person in the relationship with me to teach me about my oppression and to give me a lesson on the systemic racism and the patriarchy and all of the different things that I'm supposed to be experiencing in this country. I wonder how that would go down. And this is why I often say I will date across the aisle. Uh, it's totally fine to disagree on issues. In fact, I welcome that in a relationship because I think when you love somebody and they have different views than you, it sort of opens your brain up and it makes you not view the other side uh, as, you know, non-human or, or demonizing them because you love somebody who's who has that perspective. But where I will not stand for it and where I will immediately cut off a date with somebody is if they believe this narrative of victimhood and oppression based on your skin color. Because I think it introduces a dynamic into your relationship of not only maybe white guilt or white fragility if you're dating a white person in this sense, but also pity being shown to you. Imagine being a black person or Asian person, Hispanic person who feels strong, who does not feel oppressed in this country, who is taking ownership and accountability for your own actions and then dating somebody who like, pities you and thinks that you're the victim of a system or you've been constantly oppressed by this nation's history. It's a dynamic that I personally would not be able to deal with. As much as I would want to educate them to the contrary, I don't know that I would stick around for the dates in between those endeavors. Your your whiteness and like your privilege in the world <sighs> is something that they haven't experienced. It is something that you have to be aware of and you don't get to just like live in that that ignorance of your privilege anymore because you are now dating somebody, you're now associating with somebody who doesn't live in that same privilege. Oh, 
I mean, what a take. I don't know. It's just so interesting to me because interracial relationships and especially the rate at which we are building interracial relationship in the modern day and age is such a beautiful thing. And it shows progress outside of racial divide and racial tension. And it shows an acknowledgement that we should live in a race neutral America, that this should not be something that we're constantly taking into account. Black. It's like, if I don't say it, I'll pass out. And to hear somebody who is born of an interracial relationship tell other people who might enter that sort of relationship that they need to constantly, you know, acknowledge these race tense dynamics and introduce these sort of conversations into their relationship, which is already full of love and trust and character. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't think this is something that you need to introduce into your relationship. And she herself is biracial, meaning that 50% of her, I, I don't know if it's half white, but I think uh, through this video, she has acknowledged that half of it is, is white. Does she have to acknowledge any sort of whiteness? Or are we taking in that sort of one drop theory where now that you have one ounce of black blood or, or half of you is black, that it cancels out all the whiteness, all the white privilege, all the white experience. Is that what's happening? I mean, I'm not even somebody who believes in white privilege or the white experience being all that separate from the black, the Asian, or the Hispanic in this country. And to push that into a relationship that has managed to already progress outside of those dynamics, it's just a horrifying thing. It reminds me of that Emmanuel Acho video where he's interviewing these interracial couples and basically projecting his own insecurities and his own beliefs about oppression and victimization onto them. I never met the guy, but all I see is Rachel picked the guy who is seemingly white. I felt some type of way about that. Have you lost friends? based on who you love, being a black man. To a degree, to the black person, like, you've lessened your blackness. And you're hearing these couples being like, no, it's really not a dynamic within our relationship. We don't really worry about that. I'm a man, she's a woman. We go about our business, we love each other. And he's, you know what, what about, what about white privilege though? Lindsay's ancestors would have oppressed your ancestors. You don't feel any guilt in that. What about that white guilt that you should feel? These are the sorts of ideas that circulate when you have this mindset towards interracial relationships. And like I said before, it's really unfortunate. Do I acknowledge that there are gonna be different dynamics that you'll come across sometimes when dating somebody outside of your race? Of course, it's gonna be maybe different background, different cultural experience, different family dynamics within the, the separate cultures, but those will be things that you will progress through naturally. And yes, there will be probably conversations about them, but it doesn't need to be this acknowledgement of like privilege versus oppression and victim versus oppressor, you know? These things, I think you should try as hard as you possibly can, even if you believe these things, to set those outside of your relationship and allow love to flourish in the way that it already has because you've decided to create this bond with somebody. I'm gonna continue uh, in my interracial relationship with my white partner <laughs> without ever sitting down and having a conversation about his inherent privilege or unconscious biases or how, you know, he's been served by this country. It's just ridiculous and I don't believe it. But let me know your thoughts in the description down below. Many of you, when we talk about interracial relationships are in relationships of your own that are interracial and you've been in them for decades. I mean, married, uh, there's so many different dynamics that I would love to hear you all express. And as always, if you disagree with something I've said in this video, please duke it out in the comments. We encourage healthy debates. Plus like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a video, which is every single day and love one another, regardless of race.